เราต้องกลับตั้งคำถามตัวเองว่าข้อมูลที่เราถือในมือมันเพียงพอต่อการที่นำเสนอไหมถ้าเพียงพอต่อการนำเสนอมีหลักฐานร่างอิงยืนยันได้ชัดไม่มีกฎหมายตรงไหนเอาชนะเราได้ A report by the Asia Democracy Network said the state of emergency, which the government uses to crack down on journalists or citizens to decrease freedom of expression, such as through internet memes, is common to five Southeast Asian countries, namely Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, and Thailand. This report coincides with the latest Press Freedom Index by French organization, Reporters Without Border. Which mentions that Thailand's cybersecurity law, enacted in February 2019, gives the executive even more powers and poses an additional threat to online freedoms. Chairman of the Thai Broadcast Journalists Association, Peter Wat Chotamo, agrees that although the cyber law only covers content published online, it also has an effect when it comes to the freedom to publish content in Thailand. But ask about media freedom. Mass Communications academic Dr. Jessada Salatong said that the government and the public must see such freedom as a check and balance tool. The political um, sector or, or um, the government have to show their intention that they would like to see the media that can criticize or openly do their job, you know, for the sake of the country's development. I think the perception of the, the government is really, really important. And then um, the, the, the perception of the business sector as well. If we can build up this kind of ideology that media freedom, it's not something that against your power. We have to, we have to, to think that check and balance is really important. The legal clampdown on the media has led to some media outlets and journalists playing it safe through self-censorship. Press Freedom Index 2021 ranked Thailand 137th out of 180 countries around the world. The index said that the coverage, or lack of it, of the massive demonstrations in 2020 confirmed the scale of self-censorship within Thailand's formal media. On the other hand, Peter Watt said it is not an issue of self-censorship as he views it as being more about editorial judgment. He said journalists in Thailand have freedom and are not really restricted by laws except for when it comes to the highly revered monarchy. ไม่เรื่องเดียวคือเรื่องที่กระทบกับสิ่งที่เป็นฐานบันเบื้องสูงนอกนั้นจริงๆสื่อเล่นได้ทั้งหมดแต่ว่าคนที่เป็นการทํางานแบบสื่อมันต้องคิดว่าเมื่อนําเสนอไปแล้วเนี่ยผลกระทบในวงกว้างกับสิ่งที่นําเสนอขึ้นไปมันถูกชั่งน้ําหนักมันถูกสิ่งเราเรียกว่าระบบบรรณาธิการระบบบรรณาธิการในสื่อไทยถูกสื่อตอนตกมองว่าเป็นเซลล์บัตเอเซลซ์เซนดรจสดา said however that it is very risky for the media to censor themselves because the audience nowadays are more proactive they have many sources of information and they can tell if something is up I think it's very difficult for the media who uh, perform self censorship right now because well Right now, we have to look at the audience that they are not passive like before anymore. The audience nowadays, they are very active, they are proactive. And when they, you know, like smell something, that, okay, this kind of information um, was censored. Thailand is not the only Southeast Asian country in the bottom half of the Press Freedom Index. If you talk to journalists in the East, Many would say the freedom in each country cannot be measured using the same criteria. While experts say that it is partly because of the differences in customs, cultures, and traditions of the East, it is also because the older generation of journalists are familiar with what was not mentioned or criticized rather than asking why. กว้างมากแล้วอาจจะไปกระทบกับจารีตหรือว่าประเพณีนิยมหรือว่าความรู้สึกของด้านตะวันออกแต่ถามว่าถ้าถูกคําว่าจํากัดโดยกฎหมายไหมบางครั้งมีกฎหมายจํากัดในเรื่องสําคัญสําคัญแต่บางครั้งไม่ได้มีกฎหมายจำกัดแต่เป็นความรู้สึกว่าอ๋อเรื่องบางเรื่องเนี่ย
ันเป็นเรื่องที่ทำกันอยู่เป็นปกติแล้วมันเป็นบางเรื่องที่รับได้ It's fair enough to uh, mention that all of these criteria were set by Western world but at the same time I also think that well this is a reflection this is the 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 mirror you know like from from at least you know Western world to to look at art of course I believe that in each country they have their own nature they have their own context which is different like country by country for a country which seems to have more coup d'etats than other countries have elections one thing that has not changed is self-censorship regularly media outlets have to choose between being taken off air or broadcasting sanitized information Media organizations are not forced to do so, but those who are more critical of administrations can see themselves quickly shut down, albeit temporarily. As always, this sends a sharp reminder to others in the industry to be aware. For Peter Watt, however, he said that if the evidence of what was published is solid, there is no law that can win over the truth. It has to be explicit, accurate, and clear enough to publish. เราต้องกลับตั้งคำถามตัวเองว่าข้อมูลที่เราถือในมือมันเพียงพอต่อการนําเสนอไหมถ้าเพียงพอต่อการนําเสนอมีหลักฐานนั่งอิงยืนยันได้ชัดไม่มีกฎหมายตรงไหนเอาชนะเราได้ Going forward, could Thai media hold to the same standards as in the West if we talk about investment in time, human resources, and budget in investigative and in-depth content? Peter Watt said. Don't ask whether we could be, but whether we should be. ใช้คำว่าควรดีกว่าควรต้องทำแต่ตอบว่ามันจะไปถึงขั้นนั้นได้ไหมแต่ว่าโดยหน้าที่สื่อควรต้องทำให้ถึงขั้นนั้น